get to the opening bell and the CNBC real-time exchange. At the big board, it is Murphy USA, operator of gas stations and convenience stores. At the NASDAQ, it is psychedelic therapy provider, Field Trip Health. As we watch Brett fill in and, and keep our eye on Mike on the Bix, which um, has spent seven days now, above 30. Yeah. Uh, the spoke with a good piece on the handful of examples we have where it's done that. Um, three months, six months, 12 months afterwards, S&P's up 80% of the time. Yeah, so that's that's usually the way these studies go. When you look at any indicator of extreme short-term stress in the market, and that's how, the case with the level of the VIX, is the case with the setup in terms of VIX futures uh, pricing and all the rest of it. It's, yeah, that's that happens because the market is on unsteady ground, and it's working through something very difficult, and there's lots of liquidation happening, and you never know when that's going to end. So near term, it's dicey. You know, odds of the market being higher 80% of the time, six and 12 months in the future, that seems pretty comforting. I think on a random sample, you're up 60% of the time, you know, six and 12 months out. So it's a little bit of an edge, uh, but usually it just tells you this is kind of the readings that you get in the midst of, uh, of a severe market pullback. You know, if you want to look at the sentiment surveys, they're about as bearish as it gets. Today, the AAII Retail Investor Survey, that's been that way for a couple of weeks right now, 45% bears. 24% bulls. That's that's about as as pessimistic as you'll see. The problem is that in itself doesn't tell you how much more there is to be sold because we came into this year with retail and with uh, institutions running pretty heavy equity exposures, and it's been whittled down through multiple compression in the market, not really yet through earnings estimates uh, being revised lower. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.